Okay, guys. Well, uh, we I am feeding the animals, and it's a little, little wet. So I'm trying not to get the camera too wet. As you can tell. Oh yeah, got some water dripping. But so I can keep from getting super wet. Super wet. Super wet. Yep. Oh, my flashlight's on. But. Yep. It's just raining. So I'll get back to you. I don't want to do too much. I'll probably be into the chicken coop feeding them. Well, if I don't get attacked by chickens, I don't have to buy apples because I'm about to pick them out of my hand. Here's the bread. Oh, watch out. Well, eggs, eggs. Egg, nothing. Which is the only nest box we ever get anything out of. Because that one ain't got nothing in it. But, if I... Hmm, that one looks like it's still warm. Yep. This one's still warm. You can tell by the white. By that little liquidy stuff right there. There's to these. Oh, those are warm. Those are cold. And then I got this. I don't want to use too much because I just put them all that. Little land pellets. So yeah, I gotta go feed the dog, and then I have a trap set, and I'll see if I catch anything, hoping it's to be a possum. So I guess I'll see you then. Alright, just got done with the dog. I'll put this thing inside the dog house so it wouldn't get wet. See you when I get up to the trap, or at least close. Okay. Oh, well, I set up this trap for since yesterday because I wanted to see what's up here by the old shack. Looks like the door's still open. Oh, it looks like it's closed. Oh, it's closed. Oh, it's this tin squirrel. That's what it was. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Crud muffin. He's over on his tree somewhere. I don't know how to shoot him. Man, well, he set off the trap. He was sitting right here, and then he just took off on one tree. Man, almost had a squirrel. Well, let's set it back up. Here we go. Well, that was pretty funny, and the whole reason I actually set it here. It's because of these trails right here. Oh, it's got ancient trails going through here. There's one going this way. Goes all the way up there, and then there's one that splits off right here. Goes that way. And there's also one that goes this way. If you can tell it goes down to there. And a lot of rabbits are doing this, but I never in a million years would have thought that a squirrel done attracted the sardines. Or are you can't be just curious about it. But if I wanted to, I'd go get my rifle and I could sit right here and watch him. I'll wait till he comes out, but I ain't going to. Well, just, if I had a squirrel, I didn't even know it. But since he's still over in that tree, maybe he'll come back to it. I'll check this thing this afternoon. And, uh, so, yep, it's an old tree that fell over. That's where probably a couple rats climbed up in there, but I usually look for den trees. And I would have thought something like this tree right over here would have been a good one for possums because it's got a pretty good sized hole up there. I thought, I don't know. I don't know where possums sleep. But I'll have to look it up, you know, 
I bet if I take it up there, I bet y'all catch everything up there. Because there's big oak trees and big hickory trees back here. See ya. Maybe I'll catch something. And maybe it'll be a possum. I was hoping it'd be really a possum. But a squirrel would be fine. Maybe something to let my dog play with. <laughs> but uh, that's a big squirrel too. Hopefully I catch him. Thank the good Lord he didn't take my bait. If he did, goodness gracious, I'm surprised. I'm so surprised he took after a sardine. But there's some dumb squirrels in this world. So I'll leave that one set and try to check it tomorrow and have it on camera. Hopefully it'll be a possum because the whole reason I stood up here was because of all these trails. So maybe I'll catch a possum. And I'll see you next time.